Hello guys, welcome back to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the inbuilt PWM function of pic 16 fa 77 a microcontrollers. We will use the PWM that is pulse width modulation technique to generate frequencies. And this frequency will be used to control the brightness of an LED and you can extend its application to number of things like in controlling speed of a robot or controlling or generating frequency for any application or it's mostly used in robotics for controlling the speed. So let's get started. So this is our PIC16 FH77A microcontroller having 40 pins. We have two PWM pins on the PIC16 FH77A. So this is pin number you can say 17, that is PWM1 and it's labeled on the data sheet as CCP1 pin. This is basically a PWM1 pin. It is the first PWM pin on the PIC and another pin is a pin number 16, that is port C pin number 2. And this is labeled on the data sheet as CCP2 pin and in reality it's a PWM2 pin. So we can use bo any of these pins to generate a frequency but rest of the pins do not support PWM in the PIC16 FH77A. You only have two PWM pins. So let's get started. I will be using an LED to demonstrate to you how it controls the brightness of an LED using the frequency. So let's get started. This is a basic LED easily available in the market. It's a 5mm crystal type LED. It has two pins, one is longer and one is shorter. The shorter pin is always the ground and the longer pin is the power pin. And to interface this LED with a pick, for safety I am going to use the 220 ohm resistor. You can use any resistor from 100 to 500 ohm. So let's get the connections done. So you connect one end of the, that is the longer pin of the LED that is a power pin with one end of the resistor and from the other end of the resistor you can use any of the two PWM pin I am using PWM1 pin that is pin number 17 of the PIC16 FA77A microcontroller now for the ground you connect it directly with the common ground of the circuit now guys what is going to happen is that I am going to program this in such a way that when the program run LED will will glow in a very dim form then it will keep on going brighter 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 and brighter like this then it will again do the same it will keep on toggling like this that it will this is the way in which it will be toggling so this is the first thing I'm gonna show you demonstrate to you then I'm gonna add this knob in the circuit and I will program it in such a way that whenever it will be rotated brightness will increase or decrease let me show you how to connect it with the pick it has three pins, name the left one as ground, right one as 5 volt. You can shuffle these two pins, it doesn't matter, it will only do that when you go clockwise, it will increase the brightness and when you go anti-clockwise, it will decrease the brightness if you shuffle these two pins. So, and the center pin is the adjustable pin like in any potential meter, one pin always the adjustable pin. Now to connect it with a pick, you connect ground directly with the common ground of the circuit then 5 volt pin will go to the VCC pin that is the 5 volt of the pick and the center pin that is the adjustable pin you can use any available uh, ADC pin of the pick I am gonna use the pin number A0 that is pin number 2 of the pick 16 fh 77 a microcontroller so guys after showing you the previous demonstration of toggling using dimming I will be showing you that when I rotate this knob LED will uh, glow up when I rotate it more, it will glow further. When I rotate it more, it will go brighter. And in the end, it will be the brightest. And when I go opposite direction, it will go dimmer, like this. So in case of a motor, it will increase or decrease the speed of the motor as you like. This is the PWM method of controlling the speed of the motor or also used in the switching power supplies, the same PWM method. So guys, let's get to micro C for pick programming. Guys, this is our micro C for pick. Let me zoom it in. So you go to the right. I am using version 5.6.1, you can use any version as you like, but this version is better than the latest one because it supports syntax more easily. In the newer versions, you have to deal with some capital and smaller letters. There is a little bit of difference. So let's get started. So first of all, I click on the file, the new project, then I click on new, write the name of the project, PWM3, I write learning microcontrollers. Sorry for this icon. Okay, it's learning microcontroller. This is the name of the project I'm writing. Now the PIC I'm using is a PIC 16FH77A and the crystal is 20 megahertz. Click on next, next, next and finish. First of all, we will need to initialize the PWM module. For that, go to the right. 
here you have this something called library manager click on it here you can see this pwm in the pwm you click on pwm1 init pwm1 is for ccp1 ccp1 pin that is pin number 17 and for the 16 you use the pwm2 initialize to initialize this in the example here you have this command it says the initialize pwm module at 5 kilohertz like you write 5000 it means 5000 hertz so let's copy this we initialized our pwm with a frequency of 5000 that will be great give initialization delay like this whenever you are using pwm with different modules always remember to check the benchmark that how much maximum frequency it supports if you exceed this value the module will burn so in our case led in case of led we can use this value it is uh, fine so pwm1 is now initialized now next thing we go to our forever loop while one then what i do is that i leave the forever loop first of all i'm gonna write here is that i will use a do while loop like do while while like this then in the do while loop i will write a statement so first of all we will need any integer which will do the counting like count okay this is our count is an integer and the initial value of the count is equal to zero like this now what is going to happen is that count less than 255 here you go back to the library let me show you why i wrote count 255 that is a duty cycle see this is our duty cycle that this is a command pwm1 set duty cycle like it says 75 percent now here you can see set pwm duty ratio parameter duty takes value from 0 to 255 like for the 0 percent it's 0 and maximum is 255 and the 50 percent is 127 so here i wrote 255 that whenever the count reaches a maximum value then the loop should be over so we write here our command like count is equal to count plus one that count should keep on updating after every loop now what we do is that give some initialization delay for this command 20 millisecond will be enough now the next thing is we need to set our duty cycle before that we need to start the pwm so to start the pwm this is the command oh sorry pwm one start here it is pwm one start so for the pwm one start you copy this command you place it where you want to start your counting here now the pwm counting will start from here like this and then what is going to happen is that we will need to set up a duty cycle so pwm1 duty cycle command is the one we will use to set our duty cycle so for that you copy this this is the duty cycle we are going to set here we go now give some initialization delay here as well 100 will do fine the higher this delay is the greater time it will take to repeat the loop so like this we do it so guys now what this program is gonna do counter is gonna increment by one after each loop until it do not reach the value of 255 once it reaches the value of 255 it will be over and it will start again so this means that we need to add here something called count like this see whatever the value of count is that is what is going to be happen with our circuit <coughs> we are not going to enter the value ourselves it is a counter like 0 to 255 maximum value counter starts at 0 and maximum it will go is 255 and it will keep on incrementing by 1 in each step so let's go to our hardware let me show you the hardware let me zoom it out so guys this is our hardware as you can see this is our pic 16 fa 77 microcontroller this is the picket 3.5 burner this is our knob uh, and let me clear the previous program first this is our pick kit 3 programmer software you can download it from the website easily pick it 3 programmer here we go first of all you once once our pick kit is connected and detected we do is that we check the communication let's see it is detecting okay pick kit 3 is found pick 16 fa 77 is already selected we erase our previous code 
now we select our new code that we just wrote right now this is a code we click on write okay the new code is being written okay let it write then i show you what happens okay the new code is written now you can see this led take a look at this led it is getting brighter and brighter see it is getting brighter and brighter after every second because our loop is repeating <coughs> see it got the brightest like it is incrementing in every step by one like one after every 100 millisecond see it is getting brighter it is following our pwm command see now it will start over again it reached its maximum value now it is going to do the same let's get back to the programming you can see here that what is happening in the loop is that it increments by one in every loop now i increase this i make it you can say 25 now it will increase by 25 until it do not goes above 255 so for that i click on build again i change the code now it will increase the speed of this code let's get back see it is doing the same again as you can see see again it keeps on doing the same it keeps on doing the same now i build the new code and the new code i only change you can say the speed of the duty cycle uh, previous code it was incrementing by one now it will increment by 25 with every loop every repeat then see what happens now see the same thing happens, but in a fast way see the speed has increased and the same thing is happening in a very fast way see so guys i hope you understood what i am trying to demonstrate here is just the speed i make it 5 a moderate decent speed now i make it 5 5 and i rebuild the new code click on build then go to the programmer click on write now you can see the previous code is being overwritten okay let it overwrite now see the same thing is happening but but now the threshold is increasing by a by five so zero is the minimum pwm and five is the maximum like it it increases the frequency here we selected this frequency that is five kilohertz it will be increased and maximum threshold is that zero to 255 so one here means one here mean is that the frequency is at zero then divided by 255 this is now step by 250 divided into 255 steps so maximum is the 5 kilohertz frequency that is 255 so guys now let's add our potentiometer we will control this dimming with our potentiometer now for that purpose we will need to initialize our adc module adc pin first as shown in the presentation we are using pin number a0 adc int this is a command we use to initialize the adc pins like this in the newer versions of micro c for pig you have to take care of this in these versions it will go fine with this like this see it gives no error but in the newer version it will give an error you have to write it capital like this then give a delay ms initialization delay i would give half second initialization delay for the uh, adc modules so here too in the newer versions you have to write d capital in these versions you can write the smaller one it will do fine but not in the new versions it will give an error here you have to be careful with capitals and smalls in the newer versions of micro c for pick so guys this is our adc pins are initialized now we add our adc command here for that we will need a variable so we make a variable like int read one this is the variable which will take the command which will read the values from the potentiometer so we write read one is equal to adc read from which channel that is channel 0 we are using pin number 2 that is channel 0 give some initialization delay 100 will be enough like this so it will read value from the channel 0 as shown in the presentation now we cannot uh, use 1024 value as a threshold see maximum threshold is 255 we cannot use 1024 while the resolution of the adc is 1024 that is 2 power 10 so we do is that we take another variable right int conversion we make it convert is equal to 
you can say whatever is read read 1 divided by 4.1 it will bring this value within our limit because dividing 1024 by 4.1 is equal to something less than 255 that every value will be less than 255 that is what we need approximately it is not like this it is approximately less than 255 and that is what we just need so write the variable correctly that is con1 now give some initialization delay for this command as well so initialization delay of 50 will be more than enough like this now we do not need our do while loop here we delete the do while loop because we are going to do an open source thing here we will take value from the potentiometer how much we rotate it it will change the dimming of the LED or you can say the brightness of the LED as shown in the presentation for that we will not need the counter as well we do not need the counter now here con1 this will define whatever is the threshold of our LED so this is what is going to change here we remove this delay as well we do not need it anymore so PWM1 starts here then we give a delay after that whatever the value is read from the potentiometer is converted within our threshold range that is less than 255 and then it will be used to dim or clear the LED so let's get to our hardware we build the code I think we got no errors so there are no errors it's built successfully we burn our new code to our hardware go back to the hardware now rebuild the code in case not build so I build the code again click on write okay now the new code is being overwritten so let's get let's see what happens okay new code is written now you can see this is our potentiometer I rotate it see it increases this side and decreases this side see when I rotated it maximum it turned off now I rotate slowly 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 see it's turning on it's tr trying to gain its brightness now in case of a motor if we are using motor like PWM on an L2988 module or with a transistor for one motor one direction motor this will increase or decrease the speed of the motor there is an option of a PWM in every motor driving module that is how you will give the PWM to that module to increase the speed or decrease the speed of the motor see when I go to the lowest it turns off now I rotate see little bit little bit then it starts to go on and at the maximum that is 255 it shows the maximum brightness then I go back it starts to dim and dim dim and then it gets on dimming and finally it turns off so guys this is a simple and easy function of a PIC16 but it has a very huge application especially in the field of robotics where you need to control the speed of motors for the smooth motion of anything so this is what is needed there instead of using a PWM IC you can use a programmable IC which will also be able to do ADC conversions and apart from that it will also be able to follow your program see guys so guys this is it I hope you guys learned something from this video if you have any question in mind or you want me to demonstrate the PWM with any motor or anything that you think is suitable for your learning, you can advise me in the comments below. So thank you very much for your time and have a nice day.